From heat waves to wildfires, droughts and then flooding, this summer has seen some major weather disasters right around the world exacerbated by climate change. So what does that mean for our hopes of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius? Is it even doable? Well, a new study concludes that human emissions have already pushed the Earth over tipping points into danger zones, thresholds that can lead to large and irreversible changes. Well, with me now is Dr. David Armstrong McKay, a climate biosphere scientist at the University of Exeter's Earth Commission, who uh, was part of the group making those findings. David, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, what are tipping points and how bad are they? What we mean by a climate tipping point is when some part of the climate system, for example, an ice sheet, an ocean current, something like the Amazon rainforest, when change in that part of the system becomes self-sustaining, so it will keep on going, even if warming was to actually start falling afterwards. So that would be, for example, the total collapse of the Greenland ice sheet. And so how did you manage to carry out this study? I mean, and how many tipping points are there right now around the world? So the first major assessment was published in 2008 by my colleague Tim Lenton. Uh, in that study, they identified nine potential climate tipping points. Uh, since then, there's been a huge amount of climate science, uh, lots of modelling studies, paleo records, uh, records of ancient climate change and observations which really built up the science around this area. And so we have reassessed over 200 papers published since then, and we've come to the conclusion that uh, at least five climate tipping points are already possible now. Uh, four of those become likely beyond 1.5 degrees of warming, with even more beyond two degrees of warming. These really are a wake-up call, these tipping points. I mean, they certainly sound really alarming to me. So I guess the question is, what does it mean for the Paris Climate Agreement you know, or are we too late? So we think this provides really strong scientific support for the more ambitious Paris Agreement aim of 1.5 degrees. Because even though we can't rule out climate tipping points happening at that level, it would reduce the likelihood of hitting any more of them. Uh, at the moment, we're heading towards more like 2.6 degrees of warming on our current trajectory, and that would cause multiple climate tipping points in all likelihood. Uh, so we think it provides really strong scientific support for 1.5. That's obviously going to be a massive challenge. And actually, at a meeting here in Exeter that have just come out of the conference for global tipping points, uh, and that was looking at the possibility of causing, uh, triggering positive social tipping points that could help accelerate the transformation to a low carbon economy.